Alright guys, so I announced a few days ago for the Marvel 2012 fanfiction site uh, I dropped uh, West Coast Avengers because I was doing three titles as it was I had to kind of drop one of them and it had, to, and I chose West Coast but I'm like I said, I'm still doing for the Marvel 2012 fanfiction site I'm still doing New Warriors and uh, X-Patrol, as well as still Avengers now, uh, however um, Ronin Reviews has decided to come back to the idea, because he originally wanted to do West Coast Avengers. Um, so I gave back the idea to him, and he said, do you want to help? And I said, and I told him, you know, I won't be able to co-write, but co-plot is a different story. I'll be, I'll help out on ideas and stuff like that. And we kind of tossed her, and he basically wanted to do the team again. So I will be co-plotting, not co-writing with him on this story. And uh, it took us about two days to get the team right, uh, the team he wanted. And he had a few members in mind, and he wanted my say in, like, who else did he want on the team. So this took us about two days uh, about uh, to get everyone, and the final member was just uh, just an hour ago that, we, uh, that was the final member we agreed on. So <laughs> that's probably the longest time I've ever had a... Uh, team member, uh, a team roster to decide on, but, um, the West Coast Avengers is pretty much, uh, Ronin Review's story, I'm just helping out on it, and I'm showcasing the, ro uh, the, uh, the team roster here, uh, because I helped, um, and, uh, I was, th I was hoping I could showcase it here to get you guys very hyped up for it, even though I'm, <laughs> I'm having very little to do with it, but I did have a, lo I did have a lot of say in the team, and that was, um, that was nice of Ronan, rather than be like, oh, thanks for giving it back to me, asshole, ha ha ha, fuck you. But no, he, he, Ronan Reviews is very cool about it, um, he's writing a lot of stuff as it is on the Marvel 2012 website, he did a Great Lakes Avengers, uh, miniseries, uh, he's doing Venom on, on the site, and I believe he's doing, yeah, he's doing Secret Avengers, so, yeah, uh, so now he has four titles to write on, so good on you, man. Anywho, uh, I'm going to showcase the roster now. Originally, in my, in my story, it was going to be ten me team members, but uh, we decided to cut it down to eight, and uh, this team is a little more manageable, in my opinion, because one of the problems, I think, why I wanted to drop West Coast Avengers because I had too many team members that had their own shit going on. So, anywho... Let's move on to the team itself, and uh, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised on who we put on here. Now, uh, the team leader is going to be Mockingbird. Uh, this was Ronin Review's idea. He really wanted uh, Mockingbird to lead the team. Uh, she was a veteran West Coast Avenger, and in the Marvel 2012 website, uh, Hawkeye and her... Uh, Bobby, that's her real name, Bobby and, uh, and Clint's relationship is still canon in the Marvel 2012 site. Because in the six in the in the comics, uh, he's now apparently dating Spider Woman Jessica Drew, but in here, Liam was very gung ho about get about uh, keeping Mockingbird and Hawkeye's relationship. So, yeah, but I think she's uh, Mockingbird's a cool character, very underrated too. She's an excellent hand to hand fighter. She has some of the abilities similar to Black Canary in some ways, but. She was, like I said, she was a veteran West Coast Avenger, and like I said, Ronan Reviews was dead set on having her as the team leader, and she has led Avengers before, she's a veteran Avenger, she's done a lot of solo acts, and one of the other things I forgot to mention about what this thing, what the West Coast Avengers are gonna, one of their main things that they, they're kind of, uh, doing is they're watching out for mutant, you know, they're, the re one of the reasons they're on the West Coast again is because to monitor the you know, basically monitor mutant activity, which is something Mockingbird doesn't really want to do, you know, it's just basically, you know, we can't, it, after, because, okay, let me back up, because I'm getting, I'm tripping over myself. In the Marvel 2012 website, for those who don't know, uh, Liam wrote this story called Shattered Alliance, which was something he had planned for years long before Avengers vs. X-Men, and it was a totally different idea from Avengers vs. X-Men, where uh, Cyclops just goes batshit crazy, and he um, he's killing a lot of people, and now him and Magneto are part of the Masters of Evil. That's just the gist of it. But uh, all the mutants are on Utopia now, except a few, 
that are going to be on teams now. A lot of the, almost all the mutants are on Utopia, and one of the things the West Coast Avengers is going to do, even though you know a lot of these, a lot of the Avengers don't really like the idea, they're going to be there to you know keep an eye on the X Men. This is something they don't want to do because they know they weren't responsible for what Cyclops did. So that's basically the gist of it, and. Uh, Bobby is going to be there, and she's actually going to go to Utopia. It's uh, go to Utopia and ask some of the X Men to join the team. But not only that, uh, they're going to be fighting a lot of uh, classic villains, as well as uh, some villains we've seen recently in the comics. I believe that was one of the ideas Ronan had. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of the team, and that's War Machine. Now, War Machine is another uh, veteran West Coast Avenger, as well as a character I asked Ronan if we could have him back. And uh, he agreed. Uh, so, War Machine was on my lineup before I dropped the book, and uh, Ronan took over. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I asked him, you know, can we still have War Machine on the team? You know, he's a veteran West Coast Avenger. I think it'd be kind of fair to have Rhodey on the team, and he agreed. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to have War Machine back as, on the team. Uh, I don't know if, he, if uh, Ronan wants to make him the co-leader uh, uh, co like I originally planned, but unlike the idea I had with uh, Rhodey there to keep an eye on Hank, because the original idea I had for West Coast Avengers was Hank Pym was going to be the leader, uh, and Rhodey was there to keep an eye on him, but in here, uh, he's, he's going to trust Mockingbird. He's, Rhodey's going to have full faith in Mockingbird, and he's just there to you know help out. But like I said, I don't think he's. I don't know if uh, um, Ronan Reviews wants to keep him as the co-leader. But he's Rhodey's going to be basically there to just help out. You know, help out on the team. He's another veteran Avenger, and um, he's like I said, he's going to be enough, He's going to be one of the three big powerhouses on the team, as well as he's the tech guy in some ways. So. I, I figured why not, he's a very valuable member to any team, in my opinion. So, let's move on to the third member, and this is another character, uh, Rona Reviews said, uh, if I do the, if I do West Coast Avengers, this is another team member we have to have on the team. And that's the Vision, yes, another classic team member, another veteran member of the West Coast Avengers, and like I said, this was one of the team members, one of the three team members, actually I should say four, that Ronan Reviews really wanted on this team, and I don't blame him. Vision is really cool. Uh, I think I, I've talked about this before, that uh, the Vision, everything except the Vision being reborn um, in children, ever keeping everything that happened in Children's Crusade canon in the Marvel 2012 website, except uh, Vision's recreation. We're going to change that around. But everything else from children from Avengers Children's Crusade is going to be canon in the Marvel 2012 website. So I figured, why not? Um, Vision is another powerful member, the son of Ultron. Uh, a very he's another di a big veteran Avenger. Probably I'd even say long. He's been around a bit longer than no. I think Mockingbird and him were Avengers as long as a majority of them. But Vision's another veteran Avenger, another member of the West Coast Avengers, and I th he's going to serve as the uh, tech guy. And the other thing I want to mention about uh, the team is that Mockingbird and War Machine are the only two humans on this team. Everyone else isn't human. <laughs> so, uh, you'll see what I mean in, in a second. But yeah, I really enjoyed the idea because Vision was another member of the team that I picked for the West Coast Avengers, and Ronan said, you know, I like the idea of Vision back and on an Avengers team, and I really want him on West Coast, and this was another one of the four that he really wanted. But, yeah, uh, moving on. Up next is the Protector. Yes, the, um, we're keeping the Protector from uh, my original team that I really wanted uh, Protector on my original West Coast before I dropped it, but... Ronan was another, uh, well, once again, this was another character Ronan really wanted on the team. For those who don't know who the Protector is, he is a Kree. He is a member of the Kree Empire, and he ser he fought alongside uh, the Dark Avengers until he turned against Norman Osborn, and now he fights alongside the Avengers. Well, he served, he's more about the Kree Empire than he is the Avengers, but um, the Protector is a very good warrior. He's one of the three powerhouses of the team. 
He's also very knowledge knowledgeable of space warfare, as well as you know he has a lot of advanced techno advanced Kree technology at his disposal, as well as he's an excellent hand to hand fighter. Uh, not to mention he's capable of flight, superhuman strength, enhanced durability, among other things. But um, he's another team member uh, that, like I said, Ronan really wanted. And I don't blame him. Uh, the Protector's really cool. And he's going to be very interesting among the team because a lot of the, a lot of the Avengers um, have their problems with the Kree, obviously. But, you know, they'll be happy to work alongside him. But anyway... Uh, there's a short little tidbit of the Protector and all that, but moving on to the uh, next team member. And that's uh, Colossus. Yes, uh, this was another, t uh, yet again, another team member that uh, Ronan Reviews really wanted on the team. Uh, Colossus is uh, going to be on Utopia when uh, Mockingbird goes to Utopia and asks, you know, she openly she's going to openly ask if there's any mutant who wants to join us, you know, C come on, we share no prejudice with you. You know, you can join us. You know, you can make, you can have a better image for the for mutant kind. So, Colossus is going to take up that order. That um, he's going to take up that offer, as well as another mutant on the team, uh, another uh, X Man. But uh, you're probably all wondering: uh, Is uh, Colossus still going to have the powers of Sidorak? You know, the powers of ju of the Juggernaut, and that and yeah. Because that happened during Fear Itself, and everything that happened up until... Everything that happened uh, from Fear Itself and Schism is still canon as well in this universe. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the powers of Sidorak are still canon with Colossus in this universe. However, that can be prone to change. Now, I don't know if Ronan wants to take away the... Um, have Colossus go back to being a reg having his regular powers, or keep him as still, you know, the powers of Sidorak. I haven't really asked him on that, and I don't know his uh, his response to that, but yeah, like I said, Colossus was another team member he really wanted, and um, I don't blame him. Colossus is really awesome, but I really do have a problem for what Marvel did to him of having him addicted to the power of, of uh, Sidorak. So again, I don't know if we're going to change that or not. That's all up to Ronan Reviews. I'm just the guy who co-plots now. Uh, but moving on. Uh, and that next team member is Ileana Rasputin, a.k.a. Magique. Now, yes, she is an X-Man as well as she's, uh, pa she's mystically endowed. She's the magic team member. Now, Ileana is, uh, like I said, the magical expert of the team. She's an excellent swordsman, spellcaster, as well as mutant. And, yes, it's a brother-sister team of Col her and Colossus. And no, she does not have the power of the Phoenix as well. The Colossus or her do not have the powers of, of the Phoenix in this universe. But Magique is a very cool character. She also will act as the team teleporter. You know, she can open up portals that can, you know, warp some the team to somewhere and move them to the next place in just a heartbeat. But yeah, uh, I suggested we have Ileana on the team because Ronan really wanted at least two mutants, on uh, two x Two, at least uh, two X-Men on the team. So I suggested, since he wants it, wanted Colossus, you know, how about we make it a brother-sister team? So Ileana is the next, uh, the, uh, the other X-Man to join the Avengers. And uh, I gotta say, even though she's young, she's pretty powerful. And uh, she's definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with among the team members. So, moving on. Up next is Crystal. From the Inhumans. Now, this was another team member that um, I wanted. This is a team, uh, a team member that I really su I suggested, uh, and he and Ronan was all for it. Like, oh yeah, Crystal, we gotta have Crystal. And yeah, so we agreed on Crystal. She's very, uh, she's a cool character. For those who don't know her, her, she is a Inhuman, and her abilities are basically she can control Earth, Wind, Fire, and Water. So, in some ways, she's the Avatar. <laughs> she's like the Avatar, but not. Um, but she can basically control all the four, those four elements. And she's also an excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighter. And another thing about her that makes her so, so cool is that she's now married to Ronan the Accuser, 
who, and also, she's beloved by the Kree Empire. She is adored by the Kree Empire for, you know, helping uh, the Kree during the War of Kings. So, the Kree Empire are all for her, and her husband Ronan. And she's going to join the team, and it's going to be funny, because Ronan is basically going to tell her, uh, tell the Protector, you know, he's going to tell Novar, you know, you're in charge of guarding her, you know. If anything happens, if anything, uh, anything ill should befall her, it's going to be your head, buddy. I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to stand accused, and I can guarantee you, you're going to be executed. If anything, you know, if you don't, uh, if anything should happen to my wife. <laughs> so, yeah, and the other thing is, I, I told Ronan that now that she's loved by the Kree Empire, you know, the event, this team of Avengers now has royalty, and I told him, you know, when they're, when the chips are really down, they can actually call upon, Crystal can call upon the Kree Armada to come down to Earth and, uh, you know, show a force of strength. So, he was real, he really liked that idea as well. So, yeah, now they have, the, the Avengers now have an entire empire, at least this team does, the, the Avengers, this team of Avengers, excuse me, now has an entire empire on their side, now that Crystal's on the team. But trust me, she can handle herself. And uh, she's going to show that throughout this, um, hopefully throughout this story. But anyway, moving on to the final team member. And that is Fandral. Now, this is a character... Now, actually, for the, we chose the seven members, uh, the seven members uh, you've seen, but... Um, Basically, we didn't know who we wanted for the eighth member, and Ronan just out of the blue said, "You know what? Let's get Fandral." And I was like, "Yeah, all right." Now, Fandral, as you know, all know, is an Asgardian. He's a member of the Warriors Three. He's an excellent swordsman, and you know, he really wanted a a, a jokester on the team. And Fandral does joke, and he's he's definitely going to hit on all the girls on the team. Uh, but uh. Fandral, for most people who don't know, Fandral is actually a very intelligent uh, character. He hides behind that facade of, you know, he's jo he always jokes and he never shuts up. But behind that, he's he's very intelligent. He's a very uh, well-trained warrior. He's one of Thor's closest allies. And in this universe, we're not bringing anyone who died during the events of Fear Itself or anything that happened prior to Fear Itself. So Thor's not coming back in this universe. So, Fandral, in, his, in Thor's honor, is going to be joining the team and also, you know, fight alongside the Warriors 3 whenever they need him. But he's going to be going, he comes down to Earth from Asgard, and he's like, you know, I really want to, um, if you need me, you know, I'll be here. So, Fandral, uh, I was, when, when uh, Ronan said Fandral, I was like, yeah, definitely one of the Warriors 3, because originally, um, I was thinking about Volstagg on the team, or Hogan. But uh, Fandral was okay by me. So that is pretty much the team, guys. Like I said, I'll be helping uh, Ronan Reviews uh, pretty much figure out stories to write and what we're going to do with this. And yeah, uh, Ronan, this was all Ronan's idea. You know, give a lot. Even though I'm doing this video and talking about the team members, uh, Ronan is the real credit. So thank him. Uh, thank him for bringing back this idea. Because I wasn't gonna do it. Because three, three is enough for me right now. Three, uh, three store, three stories on the fan fiction site is enough for me. But anyway, guys, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, the West Coast Avengers are coming.